Hi everyone, welcome to Far Out Reads. I'm going to be doing a reading, pick a pile, for, this is a general reading, and the topic is going to be regarding sim sibling rivalry. I guess we're trying to tackle why do you want to absolve any relations with your sibling? I've come across this recently and it's not just like you get angry at your sibling and then you want nothing to do with them again. This, it's a built up over time, over years, often decades, but that doesn't go that doesn't stand alone. This is also uh, for young individuals uh, that feel betrayed and maybe you're still in high school. But my focus was intentionally on uh, siblings that of older individuals. So I'm going to be using three different decks the Medicine Woman Tarot, the Children's Spirit Animal Cards, and some Soul Tree Guidance Cards. However, hmm, you know, I'm going to also add the Dark Mirror Cards. Let's go ahead and we'll start with the children's spirit animal cards because it uh, could be carried, our issues with our siblings could be carried over from a past life. But let's not get that deep so quickly. I would like to keep this lighthearted. And your intention is to truly dissolve your relationship and never see your brother or sister again. Well, we'll see if what's in the cards. The point is, is trying to better ourselves and work through obstacles. And if that that should be the last result, the last goal is to absolve our relationships. We do everything to exhaust what can be repaired. So I invite my spirit guides, your spirit guides, your sibling spirit guides, and let's provide some guidance and answers so you could be at peace. Those are the tree guidance cards there. Really pretty. We all have issues with our family. I don't do too many readings regarding siblings, brothers or sisters. I don't have any sisters. I don't know if I'm thankful for that. Three cards representing past, 
present and future with the Medicine Woman Tarot. I'm an independent starting this. I'm new, obviously. I just want to help you guys resolve and move on with peace. And if you're not looking for that, it's better to click off. In due time, uh, my presentation will uh, get better. But I just want to mention I'm not reading reversals today. I'm not guided to. I'm an intuitive reader. However, I do respect uh, learning the decks of the creators, but I cannot help what my intuition brings in. It is what it is. Sometimes it's only meant for one person, but I'm trying to reach all. Now, I'm a one-person group so far, and it has taken me a lot of courage to begin this channel. I have people that want to do teacup readings. That does not resonate with me. That's why I have not studied it. And I love how people put little objects on the pick piles So obviously, I will replicate that. All my trinkets have stories to them. And in, if you follow my channel, you're going to watch me grow and learn. I want you to be part of learning and growing to my channel as well. Yeah, so we can we go ahead and just take a deep breath. Focus on the issue at hand so you can have a resolution. And what's the right wisest route at the moment? For you to take regarding your issue with your sibling. And let's begin. Just the old amethyst. No, do you try to? Oh, there we go. If this is the stone that resonates with you. Ooh, the chevron.
So as I was saying, in the future, I have a girl that's very talented at this, teacup readings. She's refining herself, I believe. She's not confident, but I don't know why. I also have another lovely individual who's awesome in her astrology. Again, she's in the dark night of the soul right now and doesn't feel comfortable. Stand up for yourself. Black bear. This is very telling. We'll get into it, obviously. Ooh, that tension. Oh dear. Naked before the stars. And I pull from the bottom four of arrows. The grandmothers. Ooh, 18 and 18. And four of stones. Now the guidance regarding this, Bear says, this is the time to stand up for yourself and trust your instincts. Be brave when facing others who don't approve of you or don't like what you have to say, especially when you express something you truly believe in. It's not about you being right and making the other person wrong, but about trusting in what you believe. Although it's nice when others agree with you, it's really not necessary that they do but it is necessary to treat them with respect no matter what. Oh, yes. Standing up for yourself is also different than taking a stand against someone or something. It takes courage to do so, but it also takes courage to know when to let go and when to compromise. If in doubt, ask a trusted adult, such as your mother or father, to support you or guide you in a different way to handle the situation. Okay, so it's apparent there was a huge argument and the emphasis is it's not about being right or wrong. I sense a huge age gap. Elite. Mm. Now there is always margin of error. Uh, mine, I like to give typically about a year and a half. And that could be measured in different amounts of ways. But I'm getting at least an age gap of 10 years. So this could be difficult. Because when someone's discovering themselves and they're the youth, they're younger, then Yes, it's difficult and overbearing. And look, look at the intention. What's the intention regarding this? Now, it's important to focus on the colors. That's why I like these cards. Because uh, purple is our crown chakra and it connects us with guidance from the ethereal realm, the angels and divinity, and there's blossoming here. So The viewer is you. 
Your sibling's just trying to protect you. Maybe they're going about it the wrong way. They're probably afraid you're going to bury yourself in the wrong ways. So let's look into that. 